This is the Scott Addict belonging to Colombian climbing sensation Esteban Chavez of Orica Bike Exchange. Well, as you'd expect from one of the finest climbers in the peloton, this bike is all about lightweight and the Scott Addict is one of the lightest bikes out there. In fact, it's only 860 grams for the frame and a further 360 grams for the fork setup. And the rest of the componentry on here too is pretty light as well. Now the group set that Orica Bike Exchange go for on board these Scots is Shimano Durace, DI2 throughout. Got the classic drivetrain here, 170 millimeter cranks. Again, Esteban Chavez, very small rider, so no surprise there. 53, 39, although sometimes they do go for the smaller chain rings on the big mountain stages. And whilst at the back there, the classic 11-28 gear ratios. One small detail on the shifters that I found very interesting indeed was the fact that Chavez, rather than go for satellite shifters, which a lot of climbers have, and we see them situated on the top of the bars, he's actually gone for sprint shifters just below the levers. Now, I don't know exactly why that is, but it is rather unusual for a climber. Now, although Chavez will want an extremely light bike, the lightest bike he can legally get, it's quite interesting that Pro, which supply the bars, stem and seat post, these are actually alloy. So we've got the alloy Vibe, topped up with a Physique Antares saddle, again gone like there with the carbon rails and gripper tape, but we've got an alloy uh, Vibe 11 centimetre stem, so 110 uh, millimetres, and 40 centimetre alloy Vibe bars. Now we do know that Pro make carbon handlebars and stems, and perhaps Chavez has gone for this particular type of setup with the alloy, so it gets him just over the UCI limit. The wheels on board this particular steed are Durace C35s, shallow sections, and they're shod with the Continental Pro Limited 25mm tyres. Now, these tyres are unavailable to members of the general public, and the main difference in these Continental uh, Pro Limited tyres is the fact they have a latex tube rather than a, a butyl tube, which actually runs just that little bit quicker. On to the finishing touches now. We've got, obviously, the number holder just at the back there. We've got a rather neat K-Force forward slash SRM chain catcher just down here. And then we've got Elite adjustable bottle cages. Now, these are pretty good. Keep your bottle in nice and tight. Should be going over any rough stuff. Now, we know that this thoroughbred is pretty light, but exactly how light is it? That's 6.885. Now, for a little ride along I did at the Giro d'Italia with the very rider who owns this bike, if I can get it back in the stand properly, how about clicking just up here? And for more play bikes on our Pro Bike playlist, click just down here. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the globe. And don't forget to like and share this video too. Might take it for a spin. Bit small.